so a lot of people they are struggling with a sleep uh, apnea and sleep uh, d disorders you can say they cannot sleep by themselves so part of this is related to your mental ability to perceive a night mm -hmm. and the time day and night so uh, i have been seeing some apps which are actually for sleep so uh, for calming down the brain and some of them I really find they are really effective. So, and I uh, I suppose that before 10 years, these apps were not that way available. So there is, uh, there is a lot of things that we need to do to get ourselves out of stress, out of uh, uh, a mental um, a disability or unstable emotions that we can struggle out. That will be a great. So, uh, what you think that this mental health with technology, uh, the pace of the development is satisfactory or it need to be enhanced and the more key player has to come in the market for uh, understanding that how important this is and with all the uh, art artificial uh, reality, augmented reality, um, with the blockchain, with uh, uh, connecting mm. it with um, uh, different platforms, is it the need of the R? Um, I guess uh, the pace that it is going, I suppose it's sufficient um, as it is. Uh, the disadvantage of making it faster than it already is is uh, is a matter of overheating, where uh, we have technologies where people are not ready to try them, they're not ready to accept them. So I suppose um, in terms of pace, um, I wouldn't change. And in terms of players, as you said, and it's a very interesting point, I'm always a believer of dem democratic use and democratic um, development of, uh, of technology. Uh, there shouldn't be just the big and large organizations who are, who are having control over the technological advancements, who are having the control over the ideas that are going behind. So people on their own, technologists, developers, um, mental health people, mental health professionals who have uh, an interest in, in technology, who want to grow, they should look at it on their own with their colleagues, with their association, and they should come up with ideas which are really from the grassroots, which are not really digested. Of course, artificial intelligence can be applied to pretty much every situation, but it's not magic. Like, it's not that if I'm doing something and all of a sudden artificial intelligence starts doing something and, and there is no person on the other. It doesn't work like that. So I suppose um, it has to be uh, organic. It has to come from grassroots and it has to be sustainable to, to be applied and to be used by the mass uh, population. Um, in terms of, uh, like, as, as you rightly mentioned, that there are applications that can help you sleep, that can help you calm down. Um, they are a step in the right direction, but I suppose um, the long-term future is um, is for people to take ownership of their own mental health. They can monitor themselves, um, they can analyze their patterns, they can analyze themselves, and then they can make informed decisions about what sort of help they need, right? That's the way forward, that's the ultimate goal of, uh, of all, it, all of it whether it can be done through a single platform, whether it can be done through a combination of platforms and technologies is something to be seen. There is a lot of research out there. There is a lot of research that's ongoing. And I believe over time uh, we will see um, some maturity in it and that's where we want to go. So yeah, all fingers crossed and we're hoping that we'll see some, um, some real changes in the future. Yeah, thank you. Right, and as you discuss about the predictive uh, analytics, so we need some time to pull up the data, and this data then, in terms of it, the variety, velocity, and versatility, this all will be matter to bring some uh, concrete results for a particular application. And so, <clears throat> particularly now, in case of blood pressure and in sugar. There are continuous monitoring uh, devices which you can deploy and attach with your app. So they keep fetching the data and they get an alarm for you, like if notification that if your blood pressure is going above the range. And uh, so I guess that the medical technology 
the technology using health with technology is, is really important and healthcare that you discuss is very very much important because if the focus will only will remain on the the main component of the body like heart blood pressure sugar. so the mental has become really really mental health is really important last Absolutely. 20 years life has transformed we have different type of stresses life pattern has changed um office pressures uh, traveling patterns and um, all the life has totally different and then in this shape that we need to brought in some technology for mental health that will be a great idea so it was a lovely um, uh, insight and um, i hope that uh, the technologist and uh, uh, the people who really want better ideas mm -hmm. they, they will get a better thought from your discussion and we will keep extending the discussions in our next program. I want to thank you for joining us today. And I'm looking forward to see you with a new innovative idea with, about technology in the next show. Thank you so much and lovely to be on the show.